Today we're gonna talk about Just Cause 3, which is the action adventure video game which is developed by Avalon Studios and published by the Square Enix and was announced on November 2014. And this is the third game in the Just Cause series and the sequel to 2010 Just Cause 2. It was released worldwide on December 2015 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So it's been six years after its predecessor. And the Jessica series actually follows the series protagonist, which is Rico Rodriguez, as you return to his homeland of Medici. It's basically a fictional Mediterranean Republic under the control of dictator General Sebastiano di Revello. As you can see, the game itself is played from a third-person perspective and allows player to explore the island of Medici in the un open world environment. As an open world environment, it was so huge and it was so devastating area that you can explore, gain reputation, and gain experience as well. Just because we received generally positive reviews, it has been praised for the open-ended gameplay, the game's destruction mechanics, and promotion of players' agency. While the critic was directed to the game's narrative, which some consider cliche and uninspired, and also the performance is specifically on the console version of the game. So some issues that I have is in the console game of the PS4 basically is none, but some of them like this one is climbing hill is particularly hard. So basically the Just Cause 3 is similar to Just Cause 2 and also the predecessor. However the terrain and also that should do it. I've made some hills is a little more vertically and the result of this is possibly the player has to explore subterranean cavern and the skill buildings more effectively and realistically with a Make nice whatever that I call make nice this one. <laughs> so the game's world itself is composed of five major blooms, which just have unique landmarks and landscape. And you got also a variety of tools here, and it's pretty pretty much great for also compete with other players online the grappling hook like this and the parasite is the one that's overwhelmed in this game I would praise uh, the easiness of the killing enemies here not really auto aim, but you have to do it manually, but it's still not bad. And there are a lot of challenges, including using the new wing sweep, which is permanently equipped by Rico, and it's featured in the game and allow player to glide across the world in much faster way. So you basically can go up to the hill and just go fly with the new wing suit. And when you go into this kind of game, basically what you want to do is to go with the story. And there are a lot of story mission here, around 20 story mission also, a lot of side mission and it will not make you boring I can guarantee that 
so you will have also a wide range of weapons which uh, including the missile launcher and shotguns or rare pgs oh shotgun is not pretty much great during the looking at the accuracy SMG is still the best and what's annoying is this grappling thing which is it can be hard you get also the vehicle like the fighter aircraft planes ships except cars which is including in the game or you can just buy them as any other game like this one this vehicle can be customized by the players and can be used as a weapons as a weapons also and also the game mechanics have been overhauled and updated so basically like Rico has the ability to attach and tether multiple objects together with this grappling hook so you want to blow up something and you got the gasoline that you just can attach a gasoline to another thing that you want to blow up and it's done so the parachuting is basically is stable and allow player to shoot enemies from the air this is the white gliding and I'm doing the grappling ouch almost die another new feature is giving uh, different with the just cause is definitely giving the character infinite C4. The C4 itself can be placed free over the world by the players, but only three at a time. Regarding the game itself and the mission here, you can liberate hostile military bases and towns feature in the game. They act as a fast travel location if the liberation is successful. It basically consists of destroying flags, destroying microphones like this one. They what you call a speakers. So basically the creativity and destruction are heavily emphasized in Just Cause 3. Hey, for instance many things in the game including structures like bridge and status can be destroyed in a variety of ways. So maybe you wanna think about just gun out a statue? Like what I do but it's not working so I'm using the granite here. One granite is not enough, I'm gonna use two granite and it, this kind of statue is done. So that's how you complete the mission and basically you providing havoc, you providing chaos in the game and the more chaos that you have, the more competition that you get and the competition with the online player is pretty much amazing you have to take out these ugly billboards, Rico. so like in the Ghost Recon you can also it has a new mechanic called the Rebel Drop which introduced it allows the player to pause the game just like equipment, weapons, vehicle through a pause menu and the selected objects are dropped into the game's world and can be used by the players. So, basically for me this game is pretty much great. My review is 
overall from the weapons and things and the cropping also and the new seats it's pretty much great and I would love you to enjoy this game and tell me what you think about it so I'll see you on another review and please don't forget to subscribe thank you and bye bye